joining me on my program once again. I appreciate you wherever you are joining me from. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Accept my greeting according to your time zone. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload a video. You can be among the first to receive it. Then go to the comment section at all time. Leave your comment, drop your contribution. If you have suggestions, make it out there. If you have any criticism, put it down on the comment section. It will make us to get better. Presenting you a better program. Thank you. Indigenous people in that contraption. She was an instrument of colonialism. That is what she was. Trying to make sure that the Biafran people and the indigenous people are held, held down. Mainly the Biafran people. Each time you see her going to the public, you always see her go to the north to dance with the people in the north. You always see her in the north to go and make any discussion with the north. Whenever they're giving aids, it's always in the north. She cares less about the people in the southern part of Nigeria, mainly the Biafra land. Even when she knows that the resources that she has come to monitor on how to steal is coming from Biafra land, yet she is standing against us in everything. When we are shouting and shouting and shouting, Mazin Nani kind of shouted and shouted. They never believed him. I was spokesman's man, someone who shouted and shouted. Nobody paid attention. But today, I saw Aisha Muhammad. Aisha Muhammad, I saw her video where she was calling out that woman in her evil. This woman was one of the first people that went to talk about the election. The election was credible. That the election was credible. That she appreciated the fact that Nigerians conducted the election. This is how evil that woman is. And Aisha came, came hard on her and attacked her. But for a very long time, we have been talking about the evil agenda of that lady. But nobody cares. Because it's a Biafran man that is speaking. Mazen Nandekano spoke about it. They didn't pay attention because it was a Mazen Nandekano. Our spokesperson, Mazen Samanaka, spoke about it. Nobody paid attention. Every one of us on our various platforms, we shouted and shouted that this woman is evil. She is the one supporting, including Boko Haram, she supports. Nobody paid attention. But finally today, they can't hide anymore. After she has completed her assignment for the people that sent her, they now remove her. Pretentiously, they remove her. Thinking they're going to deceive us. They're not going to deceive us. We are watching. Our eyes are on the ball. Our eyes are on the ball to get our freedom. Our eyes on the ball. Free man, if you want to join, you click the link and make sure you keep your phone in a horizontal way so that you can be able to join. Send your requests and then keep your phone in a horizontal way. Keep your phone in a horizontal form. Keep your phone this way. Click your rotation on. Then I will bring you in so that you can be able to make a contribution. So as I was saying, in this present time that we are, it is no longer time for you to begin to hide your identity. It is time for you to embrace whom you are as a Biafran. How long will you continue to hide? How long will you continue to change your name just to get a job? How long will you continue to deny your identity just to be relevant? How long will you continue to take the life of your own brother in order to be relevant? How long will you continue to eat from the crumbs that fall from your, 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 your servant table? How long? Time has come that you must have to embrace your identity. Those Biafrans that are living outside the Biafra land, let me tell you, you cannot count your blessings until you have a life. It is only when you have a life you can be able to count your blessings. Whatever you are seeing today as a blessing before you is not, as long as you are not secure. That thing you are looking at, you might not see it in the next minute. You might not even live to, to go for it, let alone asking for it. Our Supreme Damazin Nani can have made a very strong illustration about people who has properties outside Biafra before. If you are afraid of losing your property, you can't lose your property. You will not lose your property. If you want to sell it, sell it and get your money back. If you don't want to sell it, keep your documents intact. This is all you got to do. There are rules and regulations that guide the world. There are rules and regulations that guide West African countries. Even though Africa does not obey laws and order. But when Biafra comes, we are going to force them to obey the rule of law. Biafra, 
we make Africa to begin to think well and obey the rule of law. So if you have any property outside the African land, make sure you are well documented. Make sure you have every necessary document that you need to have for your property outside the land. Have it. And those things you can relocate to the African land, begin to relocate them immediately. Anything you can relocate to the land, begin to do that immediately. Stop waiting. Stop waiting. It is high time you take a stance. Today it has become more clearer. The election of 2023 have shown you clearly that Nigeria is made up of different people. Different ideology. With different beliefs. That Nigerians are not one people. The election of 2023 have made it possible to know, for you to know that it doesn't matter what they preach to you. It doesn't matter the language they use to sweet tongue you. Let me tell you. Face the fact. The truth remains the truth. It doesn't matter who tells it. A lie remains a lie. It doesn't matter who tells it. Even a Pope John Paul came and told a lie. It remains a lie. It remains a lie. A lie cannot become a truth because simple, it is a Pope John Paul that told a lie. A lie cannot become a truth because your general of Atia told a lie. A lie cannot become a truth because your own father told a lie. A lie remains a lie regardless who told that lie. And this is the fact of life. This is the fact. So I tell you, stop listening to all those sweet tongue, all those sweet words they tell you to make you happy. Uh, we are better together. <laughs> Laughable. You are better together. You have seen you are better together in Lagos just a few days ago. You have seen you are better together in Port Harcourt just a few days ago. You have seen you are better together in Kano State. In Boron State, you have seen your better together. Then we continue to sweet talk you. Oh, our diversity is our strength. Madness. Another big lie. That your diversity is your strength. Your diversity is your debt. Your diversity is the reason why you have bad economy. Your diversity is the reason why you are not secure. Your diversity is the reason why you are jumping away from your country and looking for where to have a, a, a shelter over your head. Your diversity is the reason why you are hungry. Your diversity is the reason why you cannot defend yourself. You cannot be able to pro, 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 produce food that you can eat. The most populated African nation of the world. <laughs> Another lie. And when they say it, they feel like you should be clapping for them. That you are the most popular African country in the world. Is that, I ask people, is that an, is, is it a title? Is there any award they give and say, the most populated African nation, this is your award? Okay, being the most populated African nation in the world, what do you have to show for it? What do you have to show for it? Some of them will be comparing the population. They will, they will tell you, say, China, China is more populated. Uh, India is more populated. China is more populated. Very much populated. But China can provide their food. China can secure itself. China have enough military to defend their land. India produce their food. India can protect themselves. Have security. Have enough army to protect themselves. You, the largest African, most populated African nation, you don't even have the military to protect you. You don't even have enough military to protect you. You are still going to look for people, for help from outside to join your military. Come on, Boko Haram. A ragtag group, Boko Haram. Your military cannot stand them. You don't have enough forces to fight them. The most populated African nation. You can't even produce the food you eat. You, don't, you can't produce the food. The food that we feed you, you, you can't produce it. The most populated African nation. The most popular. Afri Tell me, what do you have to show as the most populated African nation? What? What is there to be proud about? What is there to be proud about? You, with your whole population, you are going to the people with lesser population to go and look for missionaries. You are going to countries where they have lesser population to look for missionaries. You should be ashamed of yourself. 
the time has come when you have to pick up your identity. That is the era we are in. It is the time for you to embrace whom you are. Talking to my fellow Biafrans, it is time for you to embrace your Biafranness. It is time for you to embrace your Biafranness. There is no time to joke. It is time to embrace your Biafranness. Don't allow anybody to sweet talk you. That time has gone. The time for sweet talking has gone. Wherever you have your business, wherever you have your property, let me tell you, our Supreme Damasim Nandikana has said it, and if you don't have the brain, begin to have that brain, that we are, you have the right to own property in any part of the world, as long as this world exists. And have it at the back of your head that there are international laws that guide this planet Earth. There are international laws that guide the planet Earth. In Africa themselves, they have a law that guides it, that makes it possible for you to own property in any part of West Africa. Don't be afraid. Answer your name and bear your name and be whom you have to be. The only thing you have to do, wherever you have your property, make sure that all your documents are intact. Make sure that your documents are complete. Make sure you're not owing anybody, you're not owing any tax. Let your documents be intact and complete. As long as you have your documents intact, you have nothing to fear. The coming of Biafra will not make you to lose your property. It will not. There are international law that guides everything. That we do. And when Biafra comes, we are going to force Africa with their madness. We will force them to obey the law, including their own law. West Africa has has a law, a law that permits anybody anywhere to own property anywhere, own business anywhere, as long as you're legal. As long as you're legal. I'm not asking you to go and become illegal. As long as you're legal. That is where we have a difference with these people who call themselves Maruda. They say West African law, they say the West African law permits them to, to graze cow, to graze cow all the way from Guinea through the road and graze and go everywhere, everywhere, on every part. But you forgot that before you cross the border and enter any country, you must be permitted. You must have your permit. You must have your permit and obey the laws of that land. They will never obey their laws and international laws until when they have the one that they want to use against us. But I tell you, if you are a legitimate Biafran, the time has come. That time has come when you have to take up your identity. This is not the time to begin to sell your brother because you want to be relevant. This is not the time for you to sit on the fence. You sit on the fence. Oh, I don't know who is the right person. I don't know. These people are talking. These people are talking. These people are talking. Today, the only man standing is our spokesperson, man, time and ever. And the autopilot platform. Autopilot and man, time and ever. They are the only man standing. So it is very easy for you to choose where to be today, unlike before. It, it is very easy for you to choose where to stand and begin to do something immediately. The only people who that still follow the template of Mazen Nandekano, the supreme leader of IPOB, Mazen Nandekano have nothing to do with the political community. Mazen Nandekano has nothing to do with any, any politician. Mazen Nandekano is not asking for any restructuring. He's not asking for any more presidency. He's not asking for anything apart from Biafra referendum. The freedom of Biafra. And that is where the autopilot people stand. That is where Mazen Nandekano stand. No shaking. So, if you are genuine and you know that you are tired, you are tired of the lie, you are tired of the blackmail, that you now want to embrace that which is right, I bet you the only thing you can do today is to wake up and take up your name. Wake up and take up your name. Bear your name. Bear whom you are. Be bold with your head lifted high to tell people that I am a Biafran and act as a Biafran, not just say it. Wherever you reside, if there is something you must take home, take that thing and return it back to Biafra land. Take it. You know, for a very long, long time, people have been pretending. Any Biafra today that is still talking about presidency, talking about the election, talking about courts, talking, you are a mad person and you are irredeemable. So we don't care about you. Any Biafra that is still today, still today, hoping on Nigeria or talking about it in Nigeria, 
they don't deserve mercy. We don't have to, we don't have to care about them. They don't deserve our pity anymore. At this stage that we are, we have put every single thing on the line. We have gone to this stage where they have told us to our face. They will tell us face to face, face to face, that you are not part of Nigeria. You saw it during election. During election, they told you face to face, go back to your home. Go to where you belong. Why are you not going to where you belong? Onyasi ya jewe ben ne na ben nage obura jo ku ka gware ya when you are being told go back to your father's house it is not an insult it is not it's just an advice since they have told you through their blackmail you didn't hear they told you through propaganda you didn't hear they told you through social media you didn't hear they told you through the media they come face to face and tell you go back home what are you now waiting for tell me what are you waiting for every big 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 fat fat lies they have told you for a very long time all those big big lies they told you oh you're not reaching out because you're not reaching out that is why you cannot get the presidency you are not reaching out you stretch forth your hand make friends from here your london boy has made friend from everywhere your london boy even went to the extent of taking a full animal as a vice did he succeed did he succeed they told your london London boy, make friend, reach out. He reached out. He made friend. He, he, he made everything he could, he could be able to do. Did he succeed? And you are still there, deceiving yourself. You continue to listen to the lies. Every one of us know the reason why we are where we are today. Every one of us know the reason why people are going to that place called Lagos. The only single reason why people are in lagos the single reason now just take away the international airport take away the seaport you will see nobody in that god forsaken place you will not you don't want these people to come to your place give them what they need you don't want the beer france in your land let the beer france have their international airport and the seaport Let Bia France have their international airport and seaport. That is all we need. After we have it, if you continue to see, to see us in that your Lagos, whatever you like, you do. Since you don't want strangers in your land, you don't want visitors. Not just visitors, visitors who are coming to develop your place. In our own place, we see the houses are there, the Yorubas are there, the houses come with us to our side when they come to biafra land they will live in a house and land free of charge free go and check most of the amounts as you see in biafra land they are all living there free government are located the amounts of them free of charge you see them with their tent they will be 10 in a room 10 in their mouth in the room they will never own a house some of them will tell you that they, you, you, you cannot buy house you even people cannot give you land <laughs> mad people they will tell you even People cannot sell land for you. Even people cannot do this way. Even people cannot get the land. Have you been able to go and look for a land that you don't get? Have you? How many times have you made a move to make get a land in Biafra land and you didn't get a land? Which business do you have in Biafra land? Even your business premises alone, have you been able to develop your business premises, let alone a land? The Biafran people we build their business premises by themselves. We will build it. We will go to a city. They will give us swamp. When you hear about this land, you think they are giving us a good land. The land they are giving Biafran people are forest, swamp, 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 swamp. If you have not seen the video, maybe I will share one of the videos here so they can see it. When I was in Alabama International, when I was serving my master in Alabama International, my organ himself in Alabama International bought a land inside swamp in Alabama International. The land that my uncle bought the land swamp there was water when we go to look at the land water there was water in it on top of that water he laid foundation and begin to fill up they begin to fill up until they fill up that go to another international today that very place is completely filled up and people are living there complete swamp we are no indigenous person in that very place no indigenous person can be able to develop it 
no indigenous person can be able to develop that very place. The places that, that the Biafrans are developing, no indigenous person, no, I say no indigenous person can be able to take that risk to do that. I'm not saying that they don't have the money. They might have the money. But the kind of risk we take, they cannot. They cannot. We feel swamp. After feeling that swamp, we develop the meditative living place. is a same place. But then what do they do? When they go to Biafra land and see the places they were given by government, every place that the government gave the Hausa people to do their, their, their business, their Hausa, go there from year to year, it will remain that place, that way. They will never develop it. From year to year, from year to year, any place you see as Amausa will remain that way it is. They will never put a block to develop it. Anytime you see a development, unless the federal government or state government come to develop that place, they will never put their cover to develop any place in Biafra land. Even the place they are given free, they will never put money to develop it. Never. And yet, with all these things we are doing, they call us mad people, they call us names, they blackmail us, they call you names, they even want to say of making you to hate yourself. They want you to take their name before you can get a position. They want you to kill your brother before you can take your position. They want you to deny yourself before you can get a position. You are a mad person. The time has come for us to take up our identity. The time has come for every Biafran to begin to to put your, if you don't know how to do it, write Biafra in your forehead. Write Biafra in the forehead. This one's their calling. Is, if you can write it, write it in your forehead. Write it in your forehead. Write it. Any, any, any person that see your face will see that this is a Biafra. We have not committed any crime. Today, it is very clear. Even our, our brothers in the other our brothers or people in the other people in the other area, you see what happened in Lagos State. In Lagos State, once they see you you are not from the southwest you are a biafra but, but when we tell them they will never hear when we are telling some of our brothers in the in in old southeastern region they will not believe when we are telling our brothers in the old southeastern region they won't believe but in this thing that happened to lagos the only way they identify Igbo biafrans is you, you are not a yoruba you are not a yoruba you are looking fair in completion you are from the old southeastern region you are a gunner they will take you down. They don't even come and ask you whether you're Igbo or you're not wrong. Just me looking at you. Because I tell you, I have done a program here where I tell you that everybody in the old South Eastern region, we are the same. We are the same, even in appearance. If you see a Calabar man, look at you, a Calabar man, you, your face, you will see your, a replica of yourself in him. Look at an Egyptian man. Go and take a close look at an Egyptian man. You will see a replica of yourself. Anybody from the old southeastern region, we look alike, and these people they know that was why you saw what happened in Lagos. They don't have to ask you where are you from, as long as they see you, they identify you with that fair color and your appearance, you are gonna. But when we tell them, they wouldn't listen. When we tell them we are one, Biafra is the only way, they wouldn't listen. But at this stage, I believe they have woken up. You are welcome, my beloved brother Solomon. Thank you for keeping you waiting. Thank you, for uh, thank you my brother. Yeah. <clears throat> thank you, my brother. Good afternoon, Fly. Yeah. Good afternoon. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you, Koki Abiyama, once again, who made it possible for us to be alive, to witness today, even to come up on today's program. Knowing fully well that our enemies are busy panicking and they tremble and shaking, and their, their effort is in vain. I thank you, Koki Abiyama, who added another day to our spokesperson yesterday. He celebrated a bad day. I thank you, Koki Abiyama, who keep our leader alive and the Omar, the ESN, 